Uh, so I'm Dustin Givens. I'm the signal processing engineer for the automated robotic EMI tester. This is Logan, Dalip, Akash, and Aaron. Uh, the problem uh, that we're trying to solve uh, is for Schneider Electric. Uh, currently, they have an EMI chamber uh, where they take measurements uh, at 20 separate positions uh, to determine the effect of radiated disturbances on their products. Uh, at present, they have a, an actual technician who goes in um, and moves a sensor on this makeshift PVC platform to one of 20 positions uh, every four hours. So the technician physically has to go in the chamber, move back and forth, move the sensor, and basically be on standby for the testing. Uh, their ask of us was to automate this process. Uh, so what we've done is created a uh, automated lead screw design uh, run by LabVIEW uh, interface with an Arduino controller uh, that allows a stepper motor to move a block with a sensor on it uh, to any desired location within a desired amount of accuracy specified by Schneider. So one of the most difficult parts of this project is the requirement to uh, make sure that anything that goes inside of the electromagnetic test chamber at Schneider uh, needs to be as invisible as possible to the electromagnetic field. Uh, we, we can't have any device that we put inside of there interfering with the tests that they're going to be running. So normally for a project like this where we have something standing upright and supporting weight, we would use some sort of metal framework. But in this case, since, uh, since we can't use metal, we've needed to search for a different material. Now for our, our project, we chose to use Delrin. It's really lightweight, it has a really low coefficient of friction, which makes it great for parts of the project that are going to be sliding up against each other. Um, it's also really great, to, it's, it's really easy to snap fit, which makes it great for uh, parts of our products, uh, product, project that is uh, particularly long and are going to need to be machined in individual parts. So in our demo, this uh, threaded rod is attached to the shaft of this stepper motor thanks to a coupling made out of Delrin. Uh, both ends of this threaded rod have been cleared of their threads so that they can rotate in these bearing blocks. And this nut block is threaded onto the rod and is guided by this bottom platform. So as this rod is rotated, this platform keeps the block from rotating with the rod, which causes the block to move horizontally on this platform as the threads progress. So with this system, we're able to accurately measure the number of rotations of the motor, which can be easily converted into linear motion based on a simple equation using characteristics of the rod and the motor.